Hey guys, welcome to today's video. <laughs> I always think it's funny how, like when I do gaming videos and stuff like that, I'm, I'm always have a, you know, pretty direct intro and an outro. You know, the intro is welcome back to the series, whatever it is, and the outro is like, thank you guys for watching, we'll see you guys next time. But in these, it's, <laughs> you notice a lot of times I just kind of cut the end off like, all right, I've had enough of that. <laughs> you know, that's enough for the day. And then on the intros, it's just like, I don't, I don't know. I don't necessarily feel like saying something pre-thought. I want it to be like guys are sitting in the, sitting in the seat next to me. Just like, hey, let's go over here, man. You know, it's kind of weird. But it's Sunday afternoon. And it's, uh, again, uh, you know, mid-90s. It's not bad. It's not humid. It's not dry. It's... And like I said uh, in the last video, pretty typical Southern California weather. I just figured today I'm not going crazy, not going on the Grom, I'm not going off-roading. I'm just gonna chill out, take a little cruise. Boris just got a bath. Which was good because you know Rottweilers like that you, you, you can't wash them all the time right I would love to wash them every week but you can't it's really bad for his coat and his skin but he likes to lay in the dirt because you know around the house there's like a dirt patch where there's flowers planted and stuff and, and he likes to lay there because there's the little the little vents from under the house I think it's cooler air we used to have a, a leak in the air conditioning duct. We didn't know about, obviously. And it would blow cold air, and that's what started him laying there. So he lays there in the dirt, instead of, you know, on the grass or the concrete. Not that we have a lot of grass, but we do have a, a, a patch back there, a patch, you know, a little yard for him to lay in. But it's in direct sunlight, so that kind of blows. Anyway, whenever he gets a bath, he hates getting a bath, but after he gets the bath, he's the happiest dog ever, right? He's, he can he can sleep really good, really soundly because you know there's no scratching or itching and dirty. I don't know. And I like him too because you can hug him more. You know, <laughs> you know nothing worse than hugging a stinky dog. It's hard not to though with his big fat head. He's got a big fat head just like me. So he's such a great dog. So usually Sundays are pretty good as far as. Uh, as far as the traffic goes, like, there's not a lot of people out doing anything. Not really. I don't know. Maybe they're all at church. Maybe they're doing the same thing I'm doing, just chilling out. I was contemplating going by Best Buy. The reason is, my phone that I showed you guys I had the other day, this is like an S3. And I, I know I've talked about this before. It's like an S3. And I think they're up to S7. Now, the battery on this one's not that good anymore because it's it's probably, what is that, maybe four years old or something like that? I don't even use this phone that much is the, is the crazy thing because I use my work phone. And um, I'd like to, the new phones have so many cool things. On. They have really good cameras, you know, they have good navigation. There's a lot, like it's, it's an all-in-one tool, really. And honestly, I have, uh, they have these upgrades, right? Where you get, if you, you do an upgrade, you basically get a free phone just to re-up your, your plan. And I've been with, I've been with the same carrier for like 15, 20 years. Has cell phones even been out for 20 years? Let's just say 15. Sometimes I estimate, I guesstimate, all right? It's been a long time, let's just go with that. Basically what I'm getting at is, I could replace the battery on this phone for the same price as I could get a brand new S7. It seems kind of counterproductive to stick with the old. And it's so weird, it's so weird that I'm such a technology dude when it comes to, you know, upgrading my PCs and, you know, the latest gen consoles and cameras and, you know, I'm a, I'm a tech geek. I'm a gear junkie, you know, to obviously, actually to like my detriment, man. 
I swear. You know, some people that, some of you guys that don't know me, that haven't followed me for a long time, haven't, you know, kind of heard my backstory. The thing is that, you know, it seems like I'm always getting something new. I'm always going shopping. I bought the motorcycle. It, it's, it's a problem. It is a problem. I'll tell you why. I grew up with no money. I grew up without being able to get the things that I thought, I'm going to say, I thought I wanted. You know, as a kid, you want everything. But I could never have anything. And as an adult, I worked work hard enough to be able to make money to where you can get those things. But a lot of times I get them and I end up like, well, I didn't really want that thing because it was something I wanted a long time ago and I couldn't have. I'm gonna go into Best Buy. Ready to engage, better camera, go. <laughs> there's just not a lot I can do with the dash cam in my in my Jeep here. There's just not, there's not a lot. I mean, I could, I, I don't use a GoPro. The GoPro image is actually really good, but you gotta, you gotta plug in an external mic and Blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm going into Best Buy. I, I don't think this is a good idea. But what else is there to do? There's nothing to do. I'm bored. I've been working on the, the Grom all week and riding it and test riding it, working on it more and doing all this stuff. So I, it's just a chill day. I'm going to go and chill out. Well, that didn't work out quite like I expected. Uh, <laughs> so the they have this the S7 Edge is available for me for like 40 bucks with my upgrade and all that stuff. Cause they're like, oh, we feel sorry for you because your phone is so old. The Note 7 is coming out on Friday. My work phone's a Note 3, I think, and the Note was pretty good, but I'm like, what's the difference? He's like, well, it's got the S Pen. I never even pulled the S Pen out of my other one in the last four years, so I think the S7 Edge would be the way to go. Then I looked over at like the area where you have to go to do all this stuff, and there's like this horde of people. Like, seriously, you guys. It's not that, look, okay. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't want to make anybody upset, but listen. Why is it that some people, I understand that maybe you don't understand technology, maybe you don't understand, you're not buying a house. You're buying a phone. It doesn't take an hour to buy a phone. Just get in and get out, right? <laughs> but no, I actually, I, you know, that all, all kidding aside, I understand, like you're spending money valuable money maybe to get your kid your you know your son your daughter a phone and you want to make sure that everything's right i understand that and so what i do is instead of i don't sit there and get frustrated at the thing i just beat feet i'll come back on another day i'm not i'm not in that need of a phone man i've waited four years <laughs> what do i need i get all excited and spit comes flying out of my mouth i've waited four years I haven't waited. I mean, it's been four years since I've got a new phone, so what do I need one right now for? It was just something to do on a nice Sunday afternoon. <laughs> so right across the street from Best Buy just happens to be your wiener schnitzel. <laughs> oh, it's the worst, but I love it. You guys, maybe some of you don't know what wiener schnitzel is or der wiener schnitzel. It's the, you know, a hot dog, chili cheese, hot dog, chili cheese fries. All the stuff that just makes you go, hmm, should I be eating this? Um, yes, I should. I only eat it once in a blue moon. What, where did that term even come from, once in a blue moon? I only eat it probably maybe once a month. It all depends on, it all depends on like something like this. I make some random trip to Best Buy. That's the thing about fast food, right? They're so smart. They strategically locate themselves next to places that you like, and then you end up having to go there. Oh, what do we want? What do we want? Hello, I would like a kraut dog. Kraut dog? Two chili cheese fries. Two chili cheese dogs. No. And then a uh, 
A uh, 12 pack of mini corn dogs. What's that? That was it, just the, the 12 pack of corn dogs. Thanks. Wow, dude, I could not even hear her talking. Sometimes, you know, the funny thing about fast food joints, they're either so loud, they pierce your ears. <laughs> or they're so quiet, you're like, are you even talking to me? Like, are you talking to the person, you know, who are you talking to? It's kind of weird. That food is not all for me, okay? It's not all for me. There's other people that I'm bringing food back to. You guys are crazy. You guys are probably like, dang, no wonder he's got that belly. And I don't like kraut dogs. Kraut dogs, no. I'm just, I just like a, my, what I got for myself is chili cheese fries and a chili cheese dog. That's all that's for me. I swear. <laughs> Unless I don't make it home. It's a survival situation. I'm a block from home. I've got to eat, I've got to eat all this food. <laughs> now that's funny. Hey, there's a tasty freeze in here. Small cone shake, root beer float. Dipped cone, mini sundae. I like, I'm a big root beer float fan, and I'm a big shake and malt fan, you know? It, it doesn't have to be a malt with the malted mix, even though I like that. I really like that, it added in there. So, um, so what, at Best Buy, I ended up getting something I didn't think I was gonna get. There, I didn't even know that the, the Xbox S, the Slim, came out. And it's a lot smaller. It's supposed to have two terabytes of memory. So I got that because I was given my other one to to someone who can't, someone that someone knows, a friend of a friend, and they can't really afford it. And I wasn't using it, so I thought I would give them mine. So I'm just replacing it. They're definitely gonna get my other one. Hi. Hi. So it's gonna be two crowd dogs, two chili cheese dogs? No, one crowd dog. Two chili cheese fries, two chili cheese dogs, and the mini corn dogs. Do you want the chili cheese fries regular or large? There's a difference? There's a smaller one and then there's a larger one. Just a regular. Okay. So one crowd dog, two chili cheese fries, two chili cheese dogs, and then corn dogs yeah. and mini corn dogs. Okay. Seventeen bucks. Seventeen dollar. She totally got the order wrong. Thank you. All right. Yep. Yeah. I got two dollars back out of twenty for some darn corn dogs. <laughs> Rip the dream. I remember when fast food was cheap. Like I remember when you could, you could get food for maybe two people for nine dollars or something eight dollars now everywhere you go I mean what they tried to do is they tried to get healthier with their foods not here not here I'm talking about like Jack in the Box Carl's Jr. Hardee's those kind of places they Wendy's we have these you know fresh garden salads chicken salad uh, veggie burger all that stuff when you put health healthier we'll quote that not healthy but healthier stuff in fast food all they do is double the price if you're gonna eat healthy don't go to a fast food joint to eat healthy you gotta get get it for yourself if you're gonna go to a fast food joint get the two dollar burger you know and deal with it <laughs> I just have a salad <laughs> no it's not that's not why you go to these places at least that's not why I go don't take offense no offense <laughs> She's looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm just vlogging. I hate that word. Man, I think I'm a coin. I got a coin a new video log. But see, vlog, a video log is like you're reciting a poetry or something or you're giving dictation. It's, it sounds so clinical. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a video log. I was told there would be no math during this video log. It's stupid. Like blog, blog, vlog. Who made up these these terms? Dumb vlog, video log. 
Maybe it means something else and I'm, I'm getting it wrong. Video log, vlog. Talking to myself. Crazy, that's a good one. Crazy. Lunatic. Psycho. Chili cheese dog. Mmm. It's a guilty pleasure. It's a guilty pleasure. You know what I mean? I never order anything to drink from these places. I used to be, years ago, I was really bad with soda. I was a soda freak. You know, everything I drank was soda. Now, it's water. I get sparklets delivered to the house. And they deliver like two bottles, two of the, you know, the five gallon, and then three cases of these, because I just take these ever with me. I drink probably eight to 10 of these a day at minimum at minimum I put them in the refrigerator too cuz I like I like them cold I like cold ones what that guy's staring at me look at me or the Jeep dude chill out and take a picture it'll last longer bro no thanks thanks oh they got new bags this is an awesome to corn dogs got it coach Dude, they got new bags. That bag was awesome. Usually they jam them all in the regular bags. It's like, come on, man, get with the program, dude. Come on, man. So I was saying that guy that was staring at me, he had a, he drives a Ford, that's a plus, but he had a Colt, like a Colt shirt on, you know, like 1911 Colt. How you doing, man? You, you know, it's California, so he's not packing heat. You can't, you can't be strapped out here legally. Only like criminals, gangsters, and everybody else can be strapped walking around with their pistola. But us law abiding citizens were like at the mercy of everybody. Oh no, I don't want to break the law, so I'll just get shot. Someone looks at like my gun videos and says, Whoa, effing Americans or Americans and their stupid guns and this, that, and the other thing. Listen, dude, man, I know it's hard to understand, but I tell you, I look at other countries. I look at other countries that do, di I'm not talking about guns anymore, I'm just talking about anything. Politics, the way they do or don't do things, what's legal, what's not legal. I don't judge. I don't judge at all. You know why? Because I, I either A, have never been there. I definitely don't live there. So how can I judge? If you judge Americans by saying effing Americans and their guns, that's moronic, dude. That is, that's dumb. That's ignorant. Ignorance, what I mean is lack of knowledge. You can't judge something from a distance. Now, if you have experience, if you've lived there, if you visited there, if you understand, you can choose, have an opinion either way. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying don't have an opinion on it. I, I'm not even saying don't have an opinion that's, that's against mine. I welcome that. I welcome... You know, I've always said I welcome differences in opinion. I think it keeps things more interesting. If everybody thought the same way, we'd be like, you know, sheep. We need diversity. We need people that, that don't just follow along. But don't engage in something that you have no idea about just because you heard it on some biased media outlet or you have this opinion of a country that's 10,000 miles away from you. That's it.